Mazuma TV back with another video. All right, guys, let's talk about Eric Molina, okay? Eric Molina, known as the drummer boy, TDB. He's going against Anthony Joshua back in the UK for the IBF strap. Um, I think it's a pretty competitive fight. Eric Molina coming off an impressive knockout victory over an all-time great in, I believe, was it Poland? I believe he went to Poland and knocked the guy out in the 10th round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very impressive knockout, by the way. Eric Molina packs a lot of punch. Now, um, when when talking about the fight, somebody had been interviewing him. He was talking about Anthony Joshua and talking about the heavyweight division in general. And when he was thinking about, when he was talking about Joshua, a quote that he said, he said, I feel great about this fight. These are the kind of fights I want and I want to be in. Before I fought... Wilder, I had 35 days to train. For this, I've had about five weeks. We feel this gives us plenty of time to fix what we have to fix in training. Now, <laughs> if you guys know math, then y'all, y'all, do y'all know why I'm laughing? You know what I'm saying? He said specifically, before I fought Wilder, I had 35 days to train. Okay, 35 days. For this, I've had about five weeks. You know, seven days in a week, five weeks. Um, that's thirty five days, Eric Molina. Like I don't know, and he he made us. He said we we feel this gives us plenty of time to fix what we have to fix in training. He's making it seem like he has more time to train for J- Anthony Joshua than he did for Deontay Wilder. He act like he took the fight on short notice. No, it's the same time span you have to train that you have for Wilder. The, the same time you had to train for Wilder is the same exact time you're having to train for Anthony Joshua. So I don't get why he's trying to make it seem like he has an advantage in terms of training for this fight um, versus what he did against Deontay Wilder. It's the same time frame, TDB. You tripping. Um, then another thing he said was Anthony Joshua has a great attitude. I say he's the number one heavyweight ahead of Wilder and Tyson Fury. Now... When he said this, this definitely, I wouldn't say it struck a nerve, but it definitely caught my attention. You know, I don't have no fucking personal feelings for any heavyweight fighter. Um, But what he said was Anthony Joshua has a great attitude, and he definitely does. He's definitely a, um, he's a classy fighter, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't really trash talk unless his opponents trash talk to him. You know, when he was, when he fought the guy Brazil, Dominique Brazil, he did a little trash talking. That was because Dominique was trying to like um house him or whatever you want to call it like try to bought try to bitch him up and Anthony Joshua said he had a long train he he was training long that day he wasn't feeling that good so he just said what he said but other than that he's a pretty humble guy from what I've seen Dillian White um was saying that he's a cocky asshole I mean that's probably behind the scenes you know he probably got that John Jones syndrome you know what I'm saying but from what I've seen, he's a pretty uh, well mannered guy. He's pretty seems pretty respectful, and um, so I agree with that part of the statement. He said, "I say he's the number one heavyweight ahead of Wilder and Tyson Fury." Now, um, it's debatable. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I see a lot of people saying that that um, Anthony Joshua is the guy to beat in the heavyweight division. But me personally, I I I disagree respectfully. Um, I respect their opinion, but me personally, I think Anthony Joshua is the third heavy. I, and, and I'm going to make another video about this next. They got, BoxRec has King Kong Ortiz number one in the fucking, in the heavyweight division, in the world. I, I don't really understand that, but anyway, um, they, I personally have them ranked third, and that's because, um, and I got Deontay Wilder ranked first. So, I don't even think Tyson Fury should even be on it anymore because he doesn't have any of the straps. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I'll rank him number two, you know what I'm saying? But I got Deontay Wilder number one. You know the green belt. You know, everybody want that belt, you know what I'm saying? Um, the WBC belt is the most important belt. You know, he beats Bermain Stavern for it, you know what I'm saying? Um and me personally, when I look through Anthony Joshua's resume, I think Bermain Stavern is better than anybody Anthony Joshua has ever fought. Let me look through Dillian White. And, you know, it could be debatable who will win between Dillian White and uh, Bermain Stavern. 
But for the most part, um, he had. I believe Deontay Wilder has had more title defenses. And I don't know. I just feel like he's more proven. You know, he fought more tougher opposition. I think Duhapas is tougher. Is a lot tougher than most of the people Anthony Joshua has fought. You know what I'm saying? People call him a journeyman, but that was a real tough fight. And Duhapa showed a lot of heart in that fight. Fought Chris Ariola, probably more experienced than anybody on Anthony Joshua's resume. You know, who else? I mean, you know, I just got rank, I just got Deontay Wilder ranked number one, and like in terms of like his record, his KO percentage, the way he, I don't know, the way he, um, the style in which he knocks his opponents out. I don't know. I just think that he's number one right now. You know, but it's all this is all opinionated. Tyson Fury definitely number two, to me. Probably could put him number one. Honestly, he beat Vladimir Klitschko. You know what I'm saying? And Vladimir Klitschko was nearly unbeaten for I think a little more, a little less than a decade. He reigned at the heavyweight division for that long, unbeaten. I think that's fucking incredible. And the fact that he beat Klitschko the way that he did was pretty impressive. Now you could debate that Klitschko fought a lot of smaller individuals. And that he didn't know how to fight a taller fighter like Tyson Fury. But, you know, a win is a win at the end of the day. So, you know, I I brought this up to see what you guys would say in the comic section. Who do you guys think is number one in the heavyweight division? My next video is going to be about Lewis King Kong Ortiz being ranked number one by BoxRec. Um really disagree with that. But y'all guys, let me know what y'all guys think about this. This is Mazuma TV, and we out of here.